I would like to make a few comments concerning the difference between the black revolution and the Negro revolution. There's a difference. Are they both the same? And if they're not, what is the difference? What is the difference between a black revolution and a Negro revolution? First, what is a revolution? Sometimes I'm inclined to believe that many of our people are using this word revolution loosely without taking careful consideration what this word actually means and what its historic characteristics are. When you study the historic nature of revolutions, the motive of a revolution, the objective of a revolution, and the result of a revolution, and the methods used in a revolution, you may change words. You may devise another program. You may change your goal and you may change your mind. Look at the American Revolution in 1776. That revolution was for what? For land. How was it? Why did they want land? Independence. How was it carried out? Bloodshed. Number one, it was based on land. The basis of independence. And the only way they could get it was bloodshed. The French Revolution, what was it based on? The land less against the landlord. What was it for? Land. How did they get it? Bloodshed. Was no love lost. Was no compromise. Was no negotiation. I'm telling you, you don't know what our revolution is. Because when you find out what it is, you'll get back in the alley. You'll get out of the way. Just a moment. The Russian Revolution. What was it based on? Land. The landless against the landlord. How did they bring it about? Bloodshed. You haven't got a revolution that doesn't involve bloodshed. And you're afraid to bleed. I said you're afraid to bleed. As long as the white man sent you to Korea, you bled. He sent you to Germany, you bled. He sent you to the South Pacific to fight the Japanese, you bled. You bleed for white people. But when it comes time to seeing your own churches being bombed and little black girls murdered, you haven't got no blood. You bleed when the white man says bleed. You bite when the white man says bite. And you bark when the white man says bark. I hate to say this about us, but it's true. How are you going to be nonviolent in Mississippi as violent as you were in Korea? How can you justify being nonviolent in Mississippi and Alabama when your churches are being bombed and your little girls are being murdered, and at the same time you're going to get violent with Hitler and Tojo and somebody else that you don't even know? If violence is wrong in America, violence is wrong abroad. If it's wrong to be violent, defending black women and black children and black babies and black men, then it's wrong for America to draft us and make us violent abroad in defense of her. And if it is right for America to draft us and teach us how to be violent in defense of her, then it is right 
for you and me to do whatever is necessary to defend our own people right here in this country. 